Is this true? Liz. <laughs> M-Z? <laughs> or M-Z-Z? Or M-Z-Z? I'm just Period. plain old Melody Cedars Trump. <laughs> Now the, now the writer knows. I'd like to ask you both a question on the radio program. Um, I'm 17. I've been receiving the IF for two years, and it's awesome. But you know that. <laughs> During the Weimar Republic hyperinflationary period, the purchase of food consumed nearly 90% of typical household, the typical household money. When we reach hyperinflation in the United States, what will consume the greatest percentage of your household money? I would guess food. Who would you say, Melody? Rent? Well, basic needs. Those are the two main yeah. items. Yeah. So that would be it, so... Thank you very much for the uh, question, John. Okay, this is from Barry. A question for Melody. Okay. For me? Yeah, yeah, a little Melody. Yeah. America could see, could use tariffs and do its own thing. We talked about tariffs, and this is. Uh, question is why can cannot China do the same thing about putting up tariffs? Why can't they sell to themselves? Why do they need to sell to the U.S.? Well, the reason why is that they may have the internal generation but they don't really have the capital. And uh, the capital exists within the fractional banking system. And uh, China is in the position it's in today because it has traded by exporting and has a very, very large foreign exchange balance, which they use to expand their inner economy. And because the world is slowing down and exports are falling, what they're doing now is they are infusing, I think it's $648 billion into the economy because unemployment's going straight up and GDP is going straight down. Up until a year and a half ago, it was about 11% growth. Then it dropped to 10. Now it's 8.6 as of last year. Estimates that I like are around 5.2. And so if they don't have that money coming in, because the growth in GDP caused by exports fails to continue at a high pace, generating GDP and jobs, then they're going to have a hard time selling to their people when there's higher unemployment. So the internal domestic Chinese economy is going to contract, and there'll be even more unemployment. And there'll be even less people to sell to, and they'll probably have a revolution. Same thing is going to happen in the United States, even though they're not an exporter, because they have a different set of problems. And the main one is they have a currency that's going to go down. They are debt ridden. They're going to have to start monetizing the debt if they haven't already. And so both countries are going to have a hard time. But I think most countries in the world are going to have a hard time. I don't think anybody is going to be exempt. It'll be just the the gap in each country that their economies and financial systems fall to. I mean, will 
GDP go to minus 5% and stay there? Maybe. I mean, I'm seeing projections of minus 3 to 5% now in Western Europe and the United States. I mean, it could stay there for 10 years. So everybody's going to have problems, and you can't sell to yourself if you're not able to generate exports in the case of China. The United States, uh, again, they don't export that much anymore because everything's been moved to China and other places. And so, actually, America's problem is even greater than China's. So maybe they'll have a bigger revolution. I have one last question here. And uh, it's from John. Lots of Johns out there. And uh, uh, should I liquidate my Roth IRA? I feel inclined to do so for fear that the rules will change and all IRAs and 401ks will be rolled into some federal account. I'm listening to you. I'm getting concerned about my IRA, which I've rolled in all my tax-deferred retirement accounts into a single Roth. And um, the silver lining is I can withdraw the entire amount of tax and penalty-free since I am withdrawing principal. Um, I don't know what the federal government is going to do, if anything. I do know that the federal government has had testimony, the House of Representatives, concerning the state of the Social Security system and how to fix it. And a number of ideas were proffered, mainly that retirement accounts should really be rolled into Social Security. How far that's going to go, I don't know. We're in the beginning stages. I can promise you, if I think that thing's going to get passed, I'm going to tell you all to dump them. Now, you'll, if that happens, you'll get out early. The people who come after you will get less because, for the most part, what's going to be sold is bonds, stocks, and that's going to make the bond market and stock market go down. And there will be a stampede. Now the question is, will they make it retroactive? And I don't know. All I know is those things have been put up. They're being discussed generally now behind closed doors, whereas the testimony was open. And that's how we got... an inkling to what was going on. And so I, I can't answer you at the moment, but we are on top of it. And if I think you all ought to start getting out and doing something else and paying the taxes or the penalty or whatever the case is, uh, we'll let you know. And we you know, may not have the answer, but we're going to try to have the answer and probably will have the answer. So you can continue to use them although there are some people who are already dumping them, and that's up to them, particularly people over 59 and a half, because there's no penalty. There's just the, uh, the taxes that must be paid. And um, it all depends on the person's age and whether they work and what their income is and what tax area they're in and how much money is in the retirement account. And that's why... I have to talk to people. I'm, talk to, I'm talking to about 25 people a day now. And um, I'm answering over 100 emails a day. In fact, I got absolutely no writing done at all today. And I've only had two shows today. This one and another one earlier. And I start at 3.30 in the morning. So, you know, I've been buried. In fact, I got a, a whole bunch of research and it'll take me two hours just to get off the computer because I've got to go through every single piece of it. And so there's a great desire for people to be helped. And we're here to help you, and we'll continue to do as long as we can. We don't charge anything for it. All we ask you to do, <laughs> if we help you, is to subscribe and stay abreast of everything. Melody. 
Well, one thing I've been hearing a lot of, Bob, is I just can't believe some of the information that's being provided. People are going through an era of confusion at this time. They don't know what to do. They panic. They make the wrong decisions. I can't tell you how many people that I spoke to who uh, have lost hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, because they wanted to buy gold and they were talked into buying, you know, currencies. They were talked into buying some other sort of investment, and, you know, they've lost. I mean, I just can't. It's terrible. It's really it. terrible. Yes, it is. Uh, people with Forex accounts, some of them even managed have done dreadful, and there's one particular personality out there who I quite frankly like, 